Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. We are headed into Walmart. You can kind of see it right here. And I'm going to be sharing with you guys my meal plan throughout this video as we as well. I think I have like 14 meals on there plus two little breakfast snacky meals on there as well. So if you guys are wanting some different meals to eat or you are wondering some ideas for dinners, stay tuned throughout this video. If you like grocery hauls, meal ideas, homemaking type of videos, make sure you subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps support my channel and just pushes this video out to other people who might want to see it as well. And comment down below. I love chatting with you guys. All right, let's head in. My list is large today. Holy cow, it's cold out here. Still not used to this weather. That's not happening. Holy crap. <laughs> what is going on? These are not healthy or allergy friendly, but look at all these cute little Easter candies that they have out right now. They have the Reese's eggs. Tell me if you feel like these are different than the regular Reese's. Some people say yes, some people say no. They have these little spring snacks by Black Forest here as well. You can get 28 pouches for five bucks. That's not too bad. They obviously are not great for you though so oh milk chocolate honey graham m ms i've never heard of that before they're coming out with so many new kinds of these types of things i don't see any super allergy friendly stuff right at the front of the store here but they might have some tucked away in the back of the store i just found these they have like a really slim pickings candy section here i asked one of the workers why there's such a slim pickings over here and he was like honestly i don't know so it looks like maybe shipments are coming in later they had to take down like several shelves i'll show it to you in just a second because they didn't have enough stock these lily's gummy bears not a very big package and it's like 278 so it's kind of expensive yes kind of expensive but they have gummy bears here and they also have these sour gummy worms i like that there are no added colors in here so that's awesome just found this too i have no idea where it's supposed to go or if it was just the last one left but they have this green chickpea superfood bowl you just heat it up and eat it it's coconut lime it's by vanna life foods pretty good ingredients on the back as well it does contain coconut though but that's a kind of like a cool lunch something a little different than what you usually see like in the frozen section um, they also have i saw these naked thai style this one's coconut and lemongrass they're ramen noodles in a spicy coconut and lemongrass broth with cilantro dollar a piece for these guys you can also do the hot and sour soup or they have a pad thai or a vegetable pho the ingredients up here they're definitely a little better than like what you would see in like a typical ramen cup this is a great option these who by human like get back to human they're chocolate these are awesome they have really great ingredients in them and if you can ever find the little who bites the only place i've ever found them is on thrive market but they are super good little chocolate bites like with golden berries oh, so good i'm gonna go order those right now but they have these salty dark chocolate ones they've got cashew butter with vanilla bean that one sounds good too almond butter with puffed quinoa these all are four dollars a piece which yeah is kind of kind of pricey but it's vegan it's got great ingredients you're gonna pay more for that every time it's just what it is dark chocolate here and then they also have these organic Reese's I think I've showed these to you guys before but I thought that was kind of interesting too here is their little gluten-free section right here it's from here all the way down and over so it's not a terrible amount but it's also not the biggest one I've ever seen however I'm definitely gonna pick up some of these cookies we got these the last week and they are so good they're kind of soft and chewy they're by Cybels I've never heard of them before but they're gluten-free and vegan these are the confetti cookies and they were so good I loved the sprinkles in them so we might grab a box of those they're four dollars a piece they also have oatmeal raisin which sounds fabulous and chocolate chip as well as snickerdoodles so these ones are also great right here these ones are about four dollars a bag and they're the coconut cookies they're not exactly what you're thinking of when you think cookie they're these little cookie rounds but they are definitely not as sweet as you would expect but they are also gluten-free and vegan sugared with agave syrup so it's not as sugary as you would expect um these animal crackers are good but they do contain egg we've also enjoyed these gluten-free bunny grams as well we've also tried these honey grams we tried to make s'mores with them they don't do well for that because they break too easily but they are really good just as graham crackers in my personal opinion something else that we tried last week when we came across this whole gluten-free aisle is are these let's do 
gluten-free ice cream cones, not a fan. These were not my favorite. I would skip on these next time. They're just real chewy. They weren't crispy at all. Like you could hardly even bite out of them because they were so chewy. They have a ton of these gluten-free cookie mixes down here, chocolate chip and original monster. You've got all the crusties. These ones have not great ingredients for you, but they are super easy to whip up. Usually they do make you put an egg in there. Um, so if you're allergic to egg, maybe do like applesauce instead. Enjoy life. These are some of my favorite, favorite chocolate chips. I love the dark ones and the mini chips here. I might grab a mini chips this week because we are going to be making some of the breakfast cookies that I've made before on my Instagram. They're so good and I love putting these little mini chips in there as well as raisins. So these guys are $5.24. Gosh, they've gone up in price. Thrive I think has them for a better price than that if I'm remembering correctly. Um, but they have tons of other stuff here as well. The candy that they always keep stocked in this are these two Yum Earth. I've always seen them here. The black licorice and then the strawberry licorice. They're okay. They're not my favorite from Yum Earth. My favorite from Yum Earth are like the Giggles. Those are so good. They're basically Skittles, but with no added food dye. Derek asked me to grab some of these Outback barbecue chips. So I'm gonna grab the two that are left. Oh, gosh, you guys, I'm kind of like seeing these shells is kind of, they're kind of freaking me out a little bit. So we're gonna grab these two guys right here. They are 283. Oh, there's a third one. I'm definitely grabbing that one too. Logan and Derek eat these like by the handful. So these three will probably last them like a week. Derek loves to munch on these for his snack like while he's working. Um, I'm supposed to get cookies. I need to grab some of those guys as well. I was gonna grab burger buns and they have the char ones here, which are awesome. Um, they're egg-free, dairy-free, gluten-free. We like the char bread as well, as well as this char pizza crust right here. It's like ready to go, ready to be baked. I also see that they have this gluten-free seasoning here right now. That's awesome. Gluten-free chili seasoning by Pioneer, the gluten-free taco, and gluten-free brown gravy. My favorite taco seasoning is actually from Thrive, and then I make our chili seasoning just off of one off the internet, like a homemade chili seasoning recipe, but gravy mix is really hard to find gluten-free, so that's awesome. 380 for the Jovial, ooh, gluten-free pasta that I just dropped on the floor. I will be grabbing that. I just saw these panko breadcrumbs here as well from Ian's. Anything that we've gotten from Ian's has not been my favorite, but it's already usually the already made stuff like in the freezer. I wonder if this kind of stuff would be okay. It's 327, which is not bad. I'm picking up, oh my gosh. Are these things just like ready to fall on the ground? They must be. I'm gonna pick up a confetti one and the chocolate chip one. Whenever the cousins come over, Logan's little cousins, they love to punch on these too. So I never have quite enough in there, but now I'm prepared. I also grabbed four of the gluten-free spaghettis by Jovial. We usually have to cook like two boxes at a time now that we're cooking for six of us. So if we wanna have leftovers as well. So that'll be like three-ish meals. You guys probably saw this earlier, but I just found out where those coconut bowls are. So they also have this green chickpea superfood bowl with kale and potato, again, by the Vanna Life Foods. These guys are $5 a piece. That's kind of pricey, I'm not gonna lie. You could easily meal prep this, make a big batch of it, freeze whatever you don't use, um, and that would probably end up being $5 total. I have been curious about these bee free pita breads. I saw them actually at Costco, so I'm not gonna grab them here, but if you guys like them, leave a comment down below what you end up using for these. I think they could be interesting. You do have to toast them before, but that's super normal with gluten-free bread. I just found these Lily's Unicorn Swirl Baking Chips. These are so cute. They do contain milk, but no artificial colors or flavors, it says. That's awesome. How cute. I'm telling you guys, Slim Pickings, this is all they have left of the chomps. They don't even have the big ones here or the original. So I picked up these Italian style beef mini sticks. Hopefully the guys will like those. Those are a great snack for them. But I also saw these up here. So they actually have these Vienna chickpea snacks. I've showed you guys these before. They're basically just like crunchy chickpeas. So if you just need that crunch, but you're not looking for a ton of like fat from like a potato chip or greasiness, these are actually really good. And they're great on salads too. So they have the sea salt and the honey roasted here, both $5 a bag. Gosh, these prices. 
I feel like Walmart just went up in price with the rest of the world. Out of all of these options here, if I were picking out some of the fruit snacks for my kids, I would go with these organic bunny fruit snacks from Annie's. They're not perfect. They don't have synthetic colors in them though, and they are organic, which means a lot of the ingredients in there aren't gonna be sprayed with things. Um, again, not perfect, but better than say these guys or the moths that have all kinds of like natural flavors in there and stuff like that so high fructose corn syrup definitely something you want to stay away from and something that is super prevalent in these guys i happened to come across these as i was looking for beans but they have these ocean halo organic sushi nori here which is awesome you could make your own sushi at home they're full seaweed sheets 288 and you get 12 of them it looks like I don't know if your guys' Walmart shelves look like this, but the frozen shelves look like this every single time I come in here. They're just always a wreck. You can hardly ever tell if like what you're looking for is actually in here, but they do carry the chicken nuggets that we like, which are these Applegate organic, or they're not organic, but they are gluten-free chicken nuggets. They do have gluten-free dino nuggets there right now. We have tried those and they, we're not great. We still come back to these guys. But if you're looking for a chicken tender, I have tried the Kala Power ones. These ones are just regular and these ones are spicy and they're pretty darn spicy. Both good. Really like both of those. But we're gonna grab several bags of these chicken nuggets. We'll put the rest in our deep freeze, but the guys can eat these chicken nuggets. Like, I don't know, it, one bag will last like two meals. They do have some interesting um, gluten-free bread here though. I'm gonna grab super super often so at least that's like $50 of gluten-free chicken nuggets I can't gluten-free is expensive you guys but then doesn't it make you wonder why like regular food that's not gluten-free not organic doesn't cost so much like what are they doing to it that it doesn't cost so much I'm also gonna grab these gluten-free corn dogs Logan loves these I don't know how much these are they're kind of just thrown back there like I said like this place is a wreck uh, some other really good stuff in here as well. Ooh, I see some Siete tortillas. I told you guys about those guys before. We love those ones. We've been getting these gluten-free waffles seldom, um, but there are two ninety-seven here, which I think is fairly good for gluten-free waffles. There's only like six of them in there, so maybe I need to make my own. Um, but these are actually great. I serve these to Isla just as she's teething like frozen because they won't break off in little pieces and those have been awesome but even just toasted up with some butter and some pure maple syrup those are great for the morning too the siete tortillas that i was talking about are these guys the siete almond flour tortillas i am seeing them in the frozen section right now i don't know how much they're charging oh 7.96 that's a pretty good deal um but they have these at our costco right now and i'm going to costco tomorrow so i'm gonna wait on those you guys know those kinder seasonings that we've been talking about at costco they have the massive things of them well if you've wanted to try them and you don't know if you'd like them i just came across these they're right next to the frozen section here and they're just these little little packets of them you can try them they have the buttery burger blend the taco blend wood fired chili they're all a dollar 68 not necessarily the best for you or allergy friendly, but just in case you were wanting to try those. Tattooed Chef is making their way here. Riced cauliflower stuffing right there. It says it has, okay, it's riced cauliflower with dried cranberries, leeks, carrots, onion, and celery. It's vegan and gluten-free. No price tag though, so it's full freezies. I do like that they're trying to take the initiative and get some more like dairy-free things in here. They've got a bunch of these Rebel, um, lactose free I guess they are ice creams um, they also have the Ben and Jerry's non-dairy ones they've got the so delicious ones I most recently tried this one though the kind frozen dark chocolate peanut butter one you can't even see that sorry about that $4.97 for a pint and it was actually very very good this is what I was talking about when I told you guys that they were so low on food that they took two shelves out there used to be an entire aisle here and an entire aisle here They've had to reallocate like whatever was left on the shelves and then you can see like the shelves are pretty bare and honestly i'm not too sure what i am making of this maybe it's that we're so far north and we're getting hit with that like the canadian truckers all protesting i don't know 
So this is what I was able to find that was still on my list. Um, a few of these things, obviously you cannot get on Thrive, but honestly, this is why I have Thrive because the rest of the stuff on my list, I'm going to have to go to three. Yes, three other stores to get everything. So this is why Thrive is so awesome. I will have their link in my bio down below. Our membership just expired and I'm about to use my link to re-up it because I was just going out in the town just trying to see what I could find at one store and honestly, I cannot find everything at one store. It's taking me so much time. Thrive is worth it. So I'll get off my soapbox, soapbox now, but here's what we're getting. Some of the gluten-free waffles. We've got the gluten-free corn dogs right here. I have five bags of these gluten-free chicken nuggets. This will take us a while to go through, um, thankfully, because holy cow. And then we have these chocolate chip cookies as well as the confetti cookies just for a little sweet treat for the kiddos. The Good Crisp Outback Barbecue. Derek requested some hot Cheetos, which apparently have been so hard to find. I don't know. I haven't been looking for them, but we got four of these jovial gluten-free pastas and then one of these Italian style beef um, chomps. They're just the mini ones. That's all I could find. So. Oh, and we're also getting these Enjoy Life mini chips. I said I was done talking about it, but I just checked my most recent link from them and they are giving you guys 40% off your first order, which is awesome. We spent quite a bit of money on Thrive Market, I'm not gonna lie, but it's because everything is found in one place and if there's a lower price out there, you can let them know and they will meet it. So it's always gonna be the lowest price possible and it shows up right to your door. You can't beat it. I did, however, promise you guys that I was going to show you what we are having for dinner this week. We're doing white chicken chili with some cornbread, southern chicken pasta, chili, shepherd's pie, tacos, the breakfast cookies that I was talking about for my Instagram. We're doing these homemade creamy puffs. If they turn out well, I will let you guys know, but I did pin it on my Pinterest, which is linked in my Instagram bio. We're doing spaghetti with meat sauce, a pork chop, apple, and potato sheet pan meal, some chicken fajitas, smash burgers, but dare I call them smoosh burgers, pesto chicken sliders, taco soup, broccoli sausage pasta, and nachos. <sighs> Holy cow, <laughs> that wind. I think I say that every time I've gotten in my car this winter. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this Walmart haul. It was something a little bit different. I usually do Costco and I'm sorry if that disappoints you, but I am headed right back to Costco because they did not have everything I needed here. <laughs> but I'm glad you guys got to see a new little version of a grocery haul. We're headed home. See you guys next time. Bye.